How to cook the perfect steak is the question I'm asked so many times over and over again. So I'm going to show you how to cook the perfect steak using a hibachi. <laughs> Steak, my choice is a ribeye. Have a look at this guy. It's grass fed, it's dry aged. I brought it up to room temperature and I'm gonna liberally season it with the salt. Some black pepper. This is actually cherry wood. I wanna put just three pieces of this into the fire. And what that's gonna do is start smoking and that smoke is gonna come up onto the steak as I'm cooking it, right? And then I've got a spray bottle. Inside this spray bottle, I use red wine vinegar, a touch of water, and some shio koji. It's your friend, because if you start to get too much caramelization, you can go So, grapeseed oil onto our steak, and then I'm gonna put it down. I like to do the sides first. What you don't want is flare-ups. If you start seeing flames coming up, then you're in trouble. So have a look at the caramelization on there so far. That's what we're looking for. Beautiful, rich caramelization, and we want that all round. And so now we're gonna go onto the big side of the meat, if you like. I've got a beautiful, rich, golden brown color on my steak. It's already looking absolutely priceless. We're not even halfway there yet. Now is a good time just to get a thermometer in here and begin to monitor the temperature. So what I'm looking to do is get the point of the thermometer into the center of the steak. I've got a temperature reading currently of 25. So I've got a long way to go. What I like to do is have my oven on at 50 degrees, right? I like to rest my steak in that temperature. Rule of thumb, if you cook a steak for sort of 10 minutes, you want to rest it for 10 minutes. Keep the moisture up. 31 degrees, climbing. And you'll notice that I'm turning it. It's actually advantageous to keep turning it because it cooks a much more even steak. All right, some fresh rosemary into the fire, and that's gonna give us a beautiful herby smoke just to finish the steak on both sides. It is now at 44 degrees, so I'm gonna whip it off, and I'm just gonna pop this in the oven, 50 degrees. I reckon that cooked for about 10, 12 minutes, so I'm gonna rest it for the same amount of time, and then we're gonna carve it open. All right, 10 minutes. Take that bone off. Super delicious. Look how beautiful the cuisson is all the way through it from the top to the bottom. Lush. We're now gonna season each of the pieces on the face of the cut. There we go. Crack a pepper over the top, and then we're gonna plate it. And what you end up with is something that just looks like a piece of art to me. The ultimate steak cooked on a hibachi. Thanks for watching, and if you liked that, please click subscribe because there's plenty more where that came from. Also, if there's a recipe that you actually want to see me make, chuck it in the comments below and we'll get around to it. Thanks for watching.